this is s b tripathi lecturer mining department of pakur polytechnic pakur today i welcome all of you to my video lecture session that is based on inundation in mines now first thing what is inundation we are very much popular about the flood that is a natural calamity so similarly when a mine is fulfilled by ingress of water from any underground source or from any surface source and these waters are accumulated in the active working then that is called inundation in the last century we have seen two great disasters that is in chasnala and mohavir kolye in chasnala it is a very high grade thick seam and outcropped to a particular area initially the work has been started with open cast working but as the time passes the management feels that removing the overburden is the cost of removing the overburden is going high for this reason they have started an incline from the well and at that time good machineries or good techniques were not available so it was becoming costlier when it approaches to the depth of the sea for this reason the operation has been abandoned in course of time the mine that means the incline as well as the quarry has been fulfilled with water later on isco in an iron and steel company has taken the lease hold and started working they have driven a shaft in the deep side of the seam and following the regulation as per the cmr that means uh, boring advanced holes bore holes before approaching the gallery the mine manager was very much confident that they are not approaching any water locked area so far the plan has been concerned one unfortunate day when the blasting has been takes place in a particular gallery then the stored water in the old abundant working in rust into the mine and flooded the mine that was the only escape route for the laborers and mining industry sacrifices 375 miners in this incident later on an inquiry has been done by the dgms and it is found that the old plan submitted by the owner that means the previous owner that happened before the independence that was faulty that means the all the progresses had not been shown on the map for this reason the incident was happened another great accident happened in 1989 that is in mohavir colliery that is in this case we have seen that the present working scene was underlying a particular steam which is named as nega which has been worked a long ago and has been abandoned and it was fulfilled with water 
when carrying out the normal operation that is blasting suddenly the barrier between the old working and the present active working has been connected and it is also flooded a number of workers can escape that means out of 230 miners 72 can escape and they come to a relatively higher place inside the mine and later on rescue operation has been started borehole has been made and approach to approach the workers who are relatively at the higher level where water cannot reach in the meanwhile the coal india limited for some period that is eastern coal field limited they have decided to make a capsule which will cannot can be lowered to the particular place and the miners can be rescued from that particular place so this is happened and we can rescue 72 workers and after that it is also found that india is the second one which is going which has used the capsule that means first one has been used in other country so india is the second one to perform this type of rescue operation now i am coming to the causes of inundation in mines first one is inaccuracy of old plan of old plan as the coal mining industry is working before independence so many plans are available many plans are not available some plans are available but not up to the date but when the plans are available they are available that means the old plans we uh, see the some major defects those are available on the major plans as old plans that is decrepit condition of old plans that means sometimes the different markings and different uh, layouts are worn due to passage of time next one is sinkage and deterioration of the material on which plan has been drawn so the material on which we are making the plan that can shrink or it can deteriorate with the effect of whether you know the temperature can change we know also the moisture content can change due to this reason they are going for weathering effect omission of omission to show magnetic meridian or true north if these are not shown then the direction can be uh, cannot be determined in the proper way next omission to full so full extent of the working as we have seen what happened in chasnala that means the development operation is going on but the authority was not so sincere to update the plan as soon as possible due to negligence the up to date working status is not available in old plans there are some special precautions which should be taken uh, to prevent inundation of inundation in mines that is when we are approaching any old mine that and we are coming within 60 meter of the old working some precaution must be taken and while going beyond this level the permission must be taken from the bgms in writing
Now I am explaining the prevention of inundation in mines. So we have to follow certain steps to prevent the inundation in mines. That is, first point is surface plan. We have to prepare a surface plan that will show the contours as well as all local water bodies like river, lake, tank or any other water source. This plan will also include the highest flood level of any nearby river which may affect the working of the mine during the flood season. Next is we have to prepare suitable drains in case of open cast working and in case of underground workings also. In case of open cast working it will be along the periphery of the open cast working so that the if there is heavy rainfall that can be drained away from the working. And in case of underground working we must prevent any type of water that may enter into the underground working through the incline or shaft. Now sufficient cover should be provided over the roof of the underground working that is another important point and if the rock is unconsolidated then we have to keep the distance 15 meter at least. Next point is strata above the mineral bed. If the strata above the mineral bed is permeable, so that can percolate the water into the red next layer, that means the mine may be affected. So, in this case, if the caving with caving method of depilating is followed, then it should be avoided. Actually, in fact, uh, try to we shall try to avoid. And adequate pumping facility must be there to facilitate the dewatering of the mine at a, as and when required. Next is depilating with caving. In mines which are not very deep, so if you practice the deep running operation with caving, <coughs> the cracks that may occur or the overlying strata may be extended up to the surface and if there is any outcrop region of the seam which may outcrop say at the local water body like river, any type of lake, then the water may induce into the mine through the cracks and mine may be inundated. When we are working with a particular mine, we must keep sufficient barrier of minerals between the working mine and the adjacent mine. If any dam, dam is required to hold the water, then that dam must be anchored at different places like at the floor, at the roof and all the sides also. Now it is important during heavy seepage of water to seep the pump from one place to another place. For this reason, foundation is required on which we can set the pump residue. So on the right side, there may be several foundations with <coughs> hold down bolts on which we can fix the pump and seep the pump from one place to another place without much delay. Now working near water bodies, if any operation is to be carried out within 15 meter below the river, canal, etc. 
special permission must be obtained in writing from the competent authority. Next is approaching waterlogged area. While we are approaching to the waterlogged area, the regulations must be followed rigidly to avoid any type of inundation possibilities. Last but not the least point is when we are working near the water bodies like river or lake, then round the clock diesel is required to maintain, to monitor the water level so that when it will, it will reach to a danger level that must be warned and for this purpose generally alarms are used those are fixed at the attendance clerk's office, general manager's office and agent's offices. The alarm will ring when the predetermined level of water has been reached and the mine officials are alerted for an incoming danger and appropriate action may be taken. So in some cases the alarm is also fixed at general managers bungalow also. So for the alarm the mechanism is very simple there is a float as and when the water level increases the float also increases its side and it completes one electrical circuit which will close the circuit and the bell will ring. Thank you very much. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Have a nice day.